What is up guys and welcome back to another video. I'm back with the Civic. Hey, we got some some Amazon specials. They are the uh probably medium rated brake rotors on uh Amazon. And guess who got them? Me. So I'm testing them today along with or not testing them, but uh I guess putting them on and seeing how they look, seeing if they fit, I guess. We'll test them in a later video. But, we also got the Amazon specials. Um, I guess, I don't know. Uh, brake pads. Ceramic brake pads. Also, we got some hydraulic brake hoses from this website. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description for all these parts too. So, yeah, um, we got some rubber, the rubber brake hoses, they're just OEM replacements because the last ones, that, the ones we have on the car right now probably haven't been changed since, uh, the car was made. So, we also got some, uh, little, uh, lower ball joints for the front. Um, yep, that's where lower ball joints go, I'll show you all why. So, these go in the front. Um, they go in the front. That's where the little uh, steering rack goes. Boom, boom, boom. It steers it. Uh, we got new bearings, too, for in there so that the wheel could spin better, obviously. Um, but they haven't gone here, so we're not going to do that. And the knuckles, yeah, they were blown out. And the, the last ones were blown out, so we just got new ones. Those are uh, off the car. We're going to probably paint them. And, yeah, since it's trusted, reliable quality... Plus, being Amazon's best brake rotors, you got you get a little bit of uh, chips. Not chips, but like, I guess paint mess-ups or something. You get a couple of them. And that, they're, they can be pretty big. Or they can be small. There's a little paint mess-up right there, too. Let's see. Uh, right there a little bit. So let's just get to putting them onto there and the brake hoses. Uh, yeah, let's do it. I'm just gonna time lapse on um, me putting the knuckles back together. I guess get right to it. Uh, let's go. Alrighty, now that that's done, we're going to push the the hubs in, the front hubs. And uh, yeah, let's go to that. I got it set up, so I'm just going to start pressing it. When you're pressing it in, so this part, uh, that's the hub, and then these next two rings are the bearing, but this first bearing ring right here, that sticks out a little bit, will start coming out if you push this in too much, or when you start pushing this in, since the bearing is like split in two, I'll put a picture up, but it's like split in two down the middle, so it'll start pushing it out whenever you push the bearing in. So just make sure you grab like a socket big enough and just put it just enough over that ring and then you could hit it on with a hammer to scoot it back on. But make sure when you're pressing it in, don't press this, uh, the hub in too much because then it'll push this out and then your bearing's ruined and then you have to do all of that over again. That's what I just found out. So yeah, um, just make sure you're careful, careful for that. We're back in the shed with the what we just did. We're gonna get to putting these on the car. I think we're gonna do the brake, um, the brake lines first. Let's go down to that. First, you're gonna wanna grab some towels. Get you a lot of towels. 
because you want to cover the entire area that this stuff's going to drip if you want to keep your stuff nice. If you don't care about any of that, then it doesn't matter. But I'm trying to keep my stuff nice. So, yeah. But I'm just going to, like, uh, cover everything or this stuff is going to drip. Well, let me do this real quick. Everything's covered up for now. It's definitely going to move around because it's going to start getting to other places and stuff. But you're going to take your crow's foot and then uh, put it on your ratchet wrench and untighten it. It could slip. Like, it could start turning the entire thing. Like, the steel hose and the rubber hose. Just grab a pair of pliers. Hold the other side. Hold the side, the rubber hose. Okay, so that one didn't give me any trouble on um, this thing spinning. So it should be easy from here. So now, it's, this part's the easiest. You just grab a 14 socket on your um, little, can you see that? You grab a 14 socket and put it on like uh, impact and just blast that off. And you kind of want to hold it to where it's like facing up so that whenever you take this off, it doesn't like start leaking out a whole bunch of brake fluid everywhere. Okay, that's the brake line off. So you could probably see there's a whole bunch of brake fluid in there and stuff. Just gonna clean that a little bit. Try not to get any dirt in there either. That, that would be a good idea. I know y'all can't see this right now, but I'm just putting it on. It's pretty simple. I'm sure y'all don't have to know how to do this. You're not gonna tighten it a whole lot. Oh, shoot. Okay, so what you can see so this is on this side right this is on this side but then there's these little notches on this side if you could see that there's little notches that this pole has to go in just to like i don't know what it's for but yes it has to go in there now that that's on we can see how that towel is almost pretty much full we kind of have to move a little bit fast so that we don't keep on leaking stuff but so there's this rounded side right here and there's the flat side the flat side wants to be facing towards you i think yeah the flat side has to face towards you okay so i just got the clip back on um it was kind of hard but yeah that's pretty much it for the brake line it was pretty easy after knowing how to do it i'm gonna move on to i'm gonna do the brake pads last it doesn't have to be super tight, but just snugged up. There. I'm going to put the arm back on. I'm going to go get myself some gloves first. And, uh, yeah. Now y'all are going to watch me struggle. Put this big old arm on. I don't know if I got all that. But, yeah, y'all are going to watch me struggle put this on. It might be a little bit easier. No. God dang. Oh, I got to get the top in first. I forgot. Okay. Top in. Okay, I gotta get that bottom. There, the bottom is in. Finally, I can put the top on. Um, we gotta get this drive shaft in though. There we go. Beautiful, like a glove. Oh, there's brake fluid all over the drive shaft. Beautiful, smoothest it's ever gone on, baby. Okay. Tie rod. Oh, that is terrible. Terrible fitting. Okay, I'm gonna grab the brake and we're gonna do the rotor and calipers. Got the rotor. Try not to dirty it. I'm gonna try not to dirty it up. You don't really want to get too much grease on there either. Same goes with the brake pads. You don't want to touch the actual, actual brake pad part too much because it'll put grease on it and then it just won't brake as good. So you see how this part is fully extended, the rubber? Yeah, because the brake, pe the brake pedal got pressed, 
So now it's like fully like extended, I guess. So you're gonna want the cheap way would be to grab a C clamp that you already have laying around. But yeah, and then you just tighten it until it's fully compressed. And you'll see it start to go into I'm not gonna worry about pushing it in yet because I'm gonna show y'all how to take these little clips out right here. They're covered in dirt. But they look like this and they're just sitting in there and they hold the they're sitting in there like that. And they just use these to hold the brake pad in. So I'm going to show you all how to get those out. And I'll show you how to put one in. And then I'll worry about pushing this in later. So, what do I do? Flathead. You're going to push on these edges right here. There's an edge right here. Push on that to get it loose. Boom. You see how that popped out right there? So you're going to push those two sides out. Boom. Right there and right there. Right there. If you could see that. And then, you're just going to like, kind of pry that pry these little things off here i'll show you on this one you're gonna pry these little things off in there so they just sit in there like that and you just want to kind of squeeze them together a little bit make them a little loose kind of just pried it out with the with the flathead toss that off to the side just put it pretty much in how you put got the other one out and it should look kind of the same so yeah i'm gonna do that real quick okay y'all can see that got both sides on pretty easy Pretty simple. Okay, now I'm gonna work on getting this uh, ye old thingy bobber off, or not off, uh, pushing the brake so that I can uh, actually get them on. Okay, so finally push it all the way back. This one, so when you push it back, you wanna use an old brake pad that you just have laying around, and uh, you wanna kind of like, this one was a lot harder than all the others, or the other one that I did, but yeah, you're just gonna do that. Take the new one, Brand new one, looking good. Ceramic brake pad. You're going to take some synthetic molly brake grease that it might have came with or you just have. And uh, you want to grab, you want to actually have gloves on when you do this. But since I'm lazy and don't want to grab gloves, I'm just going to put it on some plastic. Because it's a pretty much the same thing as a glove. Hold it by this little arm and just slide her around. And you only want to do it on the side that, on this side, not the brake, actual brake pad side. Because then it's just going to, like, not be good. Okay? So just don't do it. So you're just going to spread it around evenly. Looks good. Put the bag somewhere to use again. Take the brake. Or take the caliper. You're going to not want to touch this side with your hands. But only, unless you have to. If you have to, then, yeah. Because I had to on the last one to be able to get it to fit. Or not fit, but, like to be able to push it all the way on but yeah so just gonna push the tabs in it's kind of it's a little bit hard but yeah you're just gonna push the tabs in make sure it kind of goes in like at both sides have to go in at the same time for it to go all the way on and it's kind of hard so you might want to use like a i don't a phillips or a flathead screwdriver to help push the tab in and uh yeah there got both sides on gonna push it all the way back if you're gonna touch the pad touch it on the sides okay that's pretty much it pads all the way in as you can see hopefully you're gonna put it on you're gonna put it on the rotor and then you're gonna mount it back up you're not gonna put the other one in yet if you already have the uh entire caliper on already i don't know if y'all could see that okay so if you already have the brake caliper on you don't need to remount it, but you're only going to put one on. You're, you're pretty much just going to put it on without one of the brake pads. There, got that side. I'm going to put the other side on. There's just two bolts in the back that bolt up. I probably would have already showed y'all in a different video how to do it. Or y'all could just search up a different video. I don't really care, but it's pretty easy. Both sides on. It's going to be a little bit wiggly. There, you don't have to like tighten them all the way down yet. Just remember they're loose. And you're going to take your impact and a 12, 12 millimeter socket. Boom. And if you could see, which you can't, if you can see that little rubber, rubber like bolt kind of thing right here, there's two of those, but you only have to take off the top one. You're going to take that off. So you're going to use the 12 millimeter impact to take this side off. Oh, shoot. Is it going on? Yeah. Okay, you're going to take this side off all the way, 
You don't gotta take the entire bolt out, but you can you need to take it off. So you're gonna just fold it back. You can let it hang if you want, but I don't really care. And you're just gonna grab the other brake pad. And grab the other brake pad. Come back to the plastic and little synthetic Molly brake solution stuff. You're just gonna kinda slide it all on. Put her on there. There. Ran out of that one. And you're just gonna smear it around. And still not try to touch the actual brake pad side. But just put it on this little back plate thing that says ceramic brake pad. Or if yours doesn't, then just put it on the... There's gonna be this little plate on the back. You can easily tell that it's there. Just put it on that part. If it gets on other stuff, then it's good, but... It doesn't really matter. Okay, you're gonna slide it on. Hopefully you can see this. Nope, you can't. Okay, so this little spring thing right here twists and turns. So you need to make sure the flat side lines up with it or else it'll run into it and not go all the way on. So you just turn it, slide it all the way on, put the bolt through, and then yeah, you're home, home free. So that's going to be it for this video. Finally made a video after, what, a couple months? Um, That's going to be the end of this video. Uh, we're just going to subscribe if it helped. Um, and we're about to move this Pacific into the actual garage to start doing bodywork on it. So the next video y'all see will probably be a bodywork video. But yeah, um, that's it. Um, yeah, subscribe.